your weather on the ones with Storm Tracker 13's Abby Oconee. Good morning, Brittany and everyone. Hope your Friday is going well so far. I begin with a view from our Vieira Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera in Burlington, where the view isn't all that great. We have some reduced visibility in Burlington due to some fog, and so just make sure you tack on a couple extra minutes for that morning commute. There's also lowered visibility for Lamar. Now for the I-25 corridor and for the mountains, visibility is looking just fine. Here's a view for you from our Mortgage Solutions Financial Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Temperatures are on the chilly side, reading in in the mid to upper 40s at that camera location. We're at 49 for the Colorado Springs Airport, 51 for the Pueblo Airport, with the 50s for the Eastern Plains and the 30s and 40s for the mountains and the mountain valleys. Live HE Doppler radar isn't showing any sort of activity for us. We're staying nice and dry. As you zoom into Colorado Springs and Pueblo, you see a similar situation. Teller, Fremont County is staying pretty crystal clear as well. And we'll stick with the dry conditions as we go throughout the day, along with warm temperatures. We might be able to squeeze out just a couple of different sprinkles and showers for some of the central and southern mountains. Here's a view at Skycast at 4 o'clock. You see some increasing clouds for the mountains and some of those spotty showers, but elsewhere we should stay dry. High temperatures will be above average. Yet again, it will be a day that doesn't really feel all that much like autumn. We're at 80 degrees for a high in Colorado Springs, 85 for Pueblo, mid 80s for a few of the eastern plains, with the 60s and 70s for the mountains. We stay warm and dry over the weekend and for the start of next work week, with a mixture of sunshine and clouds all the way through Monday. Lots of great activities happening across southern Colorado this weekend, and the weather should cooperate. But middle of the next work week, that's when we'll finally start to note a bit of a change. On Tuesday and Wednesday, temperatures will drop to the low 80s. We added more clouds and also the chance for some isolated storms. Keep in mind, though, that not every forecast model agrees with that possibility, and there's still time for that forecast to change. So, of course, we'll be keeping you ahead of any storms that develop. 85 is today's high temperature for Pueblo. Mid-80s for your Saturday. 90 degrees on the dot for your Sunday's high temperature. Low 90s on Monday with a mixture of sunshine and clouds on Tuesday. And the chance for some isolated storms in the Steel City for the middle of next work week. A similar story in Canyon City. Today's high temperature reaching 84 degrees with the upper 80s Sunday into Monday. Partly sunny skies for your Tuesday with cooler temperatures on Wednesday and the chance for those spotty storms. Finally, in Teller County, things are actually looking pretty pleasant. Quite lovely over the next couple of days. We'll be in the mid to upper 70s Friday through Sunday with the chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms Monday through Wednesday. Now, coming up, we will have a couple of those uh, weather updates for you during our Good Morning America Cuttings and discussing a bit of that fog for you, too. Yeah, out east, we're seeing a lot of it this morning. Right, but uh, crystal clear along the I-25 corridor, not bad in that area. All right, thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to check in one final time with Paul Richards at KRDO News Radio for your time saver traffic. Hi, Paul. Hi, Brittany.